The biggest names in gaming will all collide soon at E3, and arguably the biggest name, EA, will have a bunch of new games to show off. They include yearly installments of their sports titles, a few big sequels, plenty of new DLC content, and maybe even a couple of surprises. We'll get to all the details in just a second, but if you're excited for E3 and want to keep up with the avalanche of news that will definitely come out of it, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single announcement. Probably EA's biggest game that they'll have to show off this year is Star Wars Battlefront 2, the sequel to 2015's exciting, if slightly bare-bones, shooter. In addition to new weapons, ships, and maps, EA is making a big effort to create a decent story campaign this time around. Impossible. Commander, what do we do now? With the plot revolving around Imperial Troops' revenge on the Rebel forces, we'll hopefully get to see some gameplay footage of the single-player mode at this year's E3. With Forza Horizon 3 dominating the arcade racer market lately, EA is looking to take the crown back with their fresh-from-the-oven announcement of Need for Speed Payback. The new game will take place in the fictional Fortune Valley, which is about as blatant a Vegas reference as you can get, and will attempt to fulfill everyone's action-driving fantasies. It looks like cop chases and vehicle customization will return, but the annoying, always online requirement from the previous game won't. Need for Speed Payback will be playable at E3 this year, so expect even more details to come flooding in very soon. The guys over at DICE have been chugging away at Battlefield 1's post-release content, and the game's upcoming expansion, in the name of the Tsar, will be featured at this year's E3. The add-on pack focuses on World War 1's Eastern Front, giving players control of the Russian army, and will include four brand new maps, plenty of historical weapons, and a slew of new vehicles. Look for it to be released sometime this summer. They say that in life, the only things that are certain are death, taxes, and EA sports games. And this year is no different. EA will be showing off their yearly installments of FIFA, Madden, and NBA Live at E3, which won't be too big of a surprise to anyone. However, according to their press release, the game's mobile versions will also be on display, as well as a Switch version of FIFA 18 that they're claiming will be the most immersive, social, and authentic sports game ever created for Nintendo players. Come June 10th, we'll see how accurate that is. Speaking of long-running franchises, EA will once again bring The Sims to E3. Again, there are few surprises when it comes to The Sims 4, and we'll most likely see some new expansion content typical of the series, but EA is also looking to capitalize on a huge market with their new mobile version. The Sims Mobile will offer the full Sims experience, from creating your Sim, to building their house, to maintaining their relationships. It'll all be there at E3, right in your pocket. And finally, it's time to speculate on some games that EA might surprise us with. We do know that there have been rumors going around about a new IP from the Mass Effect developers Bioware. Some are reporting that the game, currently codenamed Dylan, will probably be some kind of MMO-style shooter, in the same vein as both Destiny and The Division, and that the scale of the game is bigger than anything Bioware has done before. According to their recent earnings call, we might have to wait until 2019 until Dylan is released, but that's fine, just as long as they come up with a better name by then. Also, call me crazy, but I don't think Battlefront 2 will be the only Star Wars game EA will show. A handful of developers, including Visceral Games and Respawn Entertainment, are currently working on Star Wars projects, and despite them all being under wraps until now, I think it's fair to say we can all expect a small teaser trailer for at least one of the games. So there's EA in a nutshell for this year's E3. Some high-profile games, some casual games, mixed in with some sports titles, and a sprinkling of Star Wars and Bioware rumors. EA has a history of playing it safe during their press conferences, so we can only hope that they'll find a way to surprise us all. To keep up with all of our E3 coverage next week, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you're on the go, download the GameSpot Now app for your iOS or Android devices to read the top 10 stories of the day.